In dozens of small plastic cases, hundreds of thousands of tiny pills are waiting to be dispensed. Behind these pills is Todd. No, it's not a pharmacist. It's a giant machine that stocks the medication and dispenses them. It's all part of a huge operation most of us will never get to see. And it's all happening in the basement of the Royal Jubilee Hospital in Victoria. This robot is a critical piece of machinery. With thousands of patients receiving medication every day, Todd has a very important job to do. But at the brand new patient care centre at the Jubilee, it's just one of many advances in technology that is making the work for doctors, nurses and pharmacists easier and making for better and safer care for patients. It contains medications that are commonly carried in the hospital. Sherry Lally is a pharmacy coordinator and she's showing off the Acidose cabinet. It's one of nine new medication dispensing machines VHA is calling fail safe, meaning patients are always given the right medication in the right amounts and no mistakes are made. So this is uh, drawer number one, pocket number 28. So this would be drawer number one and pocket 28. After the patient name is put into the machine, the Acidose cabinet only lets doctors and nurses access a specific drawer with medication specific to that patient. They're all locked down, so it's only this medication that can be accessed for the patient at this time. There is only one drawer that opens, only one container that opens, so that it makes it virtually impossible to put, impossible to put your hands on the wrong medication. It really creates fewer handovers and transitions of medications, so that decreases the number of errors. And Dr. Chris Vuksik says those medication errors can happen. And as someone who has herself made a mistake, it's important to both acknowledge the error and learn from it. She says it's also important for people like Colleen McGavin, who suffered a medication mix-up, to tell their story. It's really important to put a face to these, to these issues and to know that these kinds of things happen to real people. But McGavin also understands how mistakes, as rare as they are, can happen and is pleased to see Viha taking action. As someone who has received really excellent care over quite a long period of time, um, I just think about walking a mile in the shoes of the doctors and nurses and honestly I'm amazed there aren't more mistakes. The electronic cabinet is all part of a medication safety strategy brought in recently by VHA, but it's not just technology, it's also education, barcoding and double and triple checking medication, that's all part of the strategy. A great part of that strategy is developing a culture where safety and medication safety in this case is paramount to everyone, every last staff member, every physician and it does have the ability to add extra components. But this technology doesn't come cheap. Nine of these machines cost the health authority half a million dollars. So the Victoria Hospitals Foundation has taken it on as their fall campaign, hoping to raise enough money to cover the hefty price tag. The easy thing for us to say to a donor is, this is something that will directly affect patients, mm -hmm. but it will also help our expert care providers do their very best work by giving them the tools they need to do that job. Right now, the nine medication cabinets are the only ones on Vancouver Island, but one day we could see more of them in hospitals up and down the island. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Iwanishan.